What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we are going to give you a very early projected record here for the Florida Gators in 2024. Uh, before we get to those 2024 projections, let's look back at some of the projections from 2023. Here is where uh, Florida was expected to be last season, of course, finished 5 and 7. Our projection had them at 6 and 6. I personally predicted them to go 5 and 7. Athlon Sports predicted them to go 5 and 7. The over under was at 5 and a half. So this is a team that was expected to be five and seven or six and six, and they did wind up at five and seven. Could have very easily been six and six, though, if you look back at their season last year. Uh, had some close games, had some close calls for sure. Uh, it's 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 just such a tough schedule. It's such a tough schedule last year, and such a tough schedule this year. It just makes it to where again the projections are not going to be great. Uh, you can see again five and seven last year. Here's the 2024 schedule, and this is the scale that we use. If it's under 20, over 80, those are games where I think it's almost a guarantee who's going to win. Uh, yeah, those upsets do sometimes happen, but uh, that those games we, we count those as wins and losses. 20 to 29, to 71 to 80, those are games that are considered uh, teams were pretty big favorites. You know, 10 to 16 points maybe in that range. Then you've got your 30 to 39 and uh, 61 to 70 percent games. Those are games where I think the spread will be closer to a touchdown, six, seven, eight points, kind of in that range. And then uh, your 50 50 games, they'll stay in the white. Those are games that could really go either way. Games where I think the spread will be less than less than six. So uh, for Florida, we'll start with the easy wins, and they've only got one of them, and that's Samford. That is the only easy win on the schedule. In fact. It's the only game on this schedule where I think Florida is going to be a clear favorite. I think every other game, they're either going to be an underdog or maybe a slight favorite. That's, again, just how tough this schedule is. Uh, so you've got one win there. You can count on that one. If they lose that game, then uh, Billy Napier are going to be fired. But they'll be fired anyways, depending on how this season goes. I actually think Florida is a better team than a lot of people are giving them credit for. But, again, it's just a schedule. It's brutal. So you've got LSU and Florida State. These are games where I think Florida is going to be favored or is going to be an underdog by about a touchdown. I don't think they're going to be huge underdogs in these games. Uh, LSU, you know, this is a probably a, you know, I don't have them as a top tier team, but they're still going to be up there um, and probably a top 15 team, uh, potentially better. But it's at Florida, so I think they're going to have a chance in that game. If they're going to pull off a big upset, that's probably the most likely game to, to happen. Uh, then Florida State, I think Florida State's going to be a better team, plus they're playing at home. But it's a rivalry game, so I think that gives Florida a chance. And I don't think Florida State's going to be as good as they were last year. So, yeah, they'll have a chance in both of those games. But I do think they will clearly be the underdog in both matchups and probably by about a touchdown. Uh, I think they'll be a bigger underdog against Tennessee, Georgia, and Ole Miss. I think you're looking at double-digit underdogs in these three games i know they beat tennessee last year but um tennessee i think is going to be better this year plus the game is on the road i i can understand if maybe you want to put that game in the yellow that's fine i don't think it would really change the projection but uh just with the tier system that i use i do have tennessee as a tier two team uh and, and because that game is on the road that's why that one is in the orange and then georgia it's it's not it's a neutral site game it's a rivalry so I'm not going to put that in the red if you went by my tier system that game would actually be in the red but again rivalry game not on the road it's not home but it's not on the road it's a neutral site so that's why that one's in the orange but again you could you could make an argument for that game being in the red and putting Tennessee in the yellow and then you're gonna get the same projection uh, this is not a prediction we're a long ways away from doing predictions uh, this is simply just a projection. Ole Miss also, I think, in the orange. I've got this team as a, as a top, maybe top five team this year. I think they're going to be really good. Even at home for Florida, I think Ole Miss is much, much better. And, again, it's not impossible for Florida to win, but I think they're going to be double-digit underdogs. And then the one game where I'm just going to give them no chance, that's Texas. Uh, Texas also does figure to be a Tier 1 team. Plus, this game is on the road. So if it was at home or neutral site, we might put it in the orange. But because it's on the road, I'm just going to go ahead and say Florida has no chance. I just do not see them going on the road and beating Texas. And so that means you've got one, two, three, four, five, six games. Six games where Florida is going to be an underdog. And I think clearly an underdog. And then you have the other six games where it's either a game that could go either way or maybe they're favored like this game against Sanford. So if you want to get to a bowl game, there's your there's your six games right there. Miami, Sanford, Texas A&M, Mississippi State, UCF, and Kentucky. 
you win those games, you get to a bowl game, or maybe you lose one and you pull off an upset against, say, LSU. Like I said earlier, that might be their best chance at a big upset. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for this team to get to a bowl game. Uh, you look at the Miami game, I think Miami's probably going to be favored, but not by much. Texas A&M, probably favored, by not, but not by much. And again, those games are at home for Florida, so that's going to give them a chance. Uh, I'd probably say Florida will be favored on the road at Mississippi State. Again, not by much. Maybe a field goal. I think they will be favored against UCF. UCF's the one game that I think is is almost in the purple. And I do think Florida's probably favored by four or five points in that one, but not quite the six or seven. And then Kentucky, that's a true toss-up. I really could see that game going either way. But again, if Florida can win all of these games, all their 50-50 games, and take care of Sanford, they can get to a bowl game, but it's going to be tough. So the projection for them, it's not a bowl game. It's 5-7 and seven because, again, the odds are going to say they're not going to win every 50-50 game. If they just split the 50-50 games, and let's say let's say they go 3-2 and two in the 50-50 games, and they beat Sanford, that puts them at 4-8. and eight. Uh, but again, the odds would say that they're going to pull off an upset against you know, an LSU or maybe a couple upsets here. Again, that's just what the odds would say. And it does get them up to 5-7. and seven, But again, a projection to not even go to a bowl game again for Florida with a, an absolutely brutal schedule, 5-7, and seven, just like last year. That is the projection. You guys agree? Do you disagree? Where do you see this team? Uh, where would you project their record? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.